Recording. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Public Service for August 30th, 2022. This is a public meeting and there are no lettings today, but we do have one hearing, so we will handle that before we begin our regular agenda. Hearing number 8265 is being conducted pursuant to chapter 8.97 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis. The applicant, David Groth, DBA Black Letter Tattoo Company, LLC, is proposing to operate a tattoo parlor at 6650 Gravoy Avenue, Unit 1F. Due to the nature of the business, the applicant is required to hold a license issued by this board pursuant to the guidelines of chapter 8.97 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis. Procedural history, March 5th, 2022, a letter from Alderman Stevens to Dylan Mosier offering support of the opening of a tattoo parlor at 6650 Gravoy Avenue. May 12th, 2022, the certificate of conditional use permit numbered as 130856 issued to DBA Black Letter Tattoo Company, CO Jana Groth for the use of 6650 Gravoy Avenue as a tattoo studio, no piercings with conditions. July 14th, 2022, certificate of occupancy and zoning number OP-320-22 issued to DBA Black Letter Tattoo Company for the use of 6650 Gravoy Avenue, Unit 1F as a tattoo studio. July 20th, 2022, the applicant submits to BPS a completed BPS tattoo parlor license application number 131021 for five chairs for the proposed premise at 6650 Gravoy Avenue, Unit 1F. August 5th, 2022, a letter from the health director, Dr. Maddie Davis, to BPS finding no evidence of health code violations at the facility at 6650 Gravoy Avenue, Unit 1F, and recommends issuance of a BPS license for a tattoo parlor with five chairs. August 15th, 2021, certified letters from the secretary, excuse me, August 15th, 2022, certified letters from the secretary of BPS are mailed in which applicant and property owner are notified of today's hearing and copies of the public notice for today's hearing, which were posted and published. And then finally, not dated a letter from the Boulevard Heights Improvement Association in support of the opening of a tattoo parlor, so long as there is no loitering in front of the property. As outlined in section 8.97.070 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis, the Board of Public Service may approve such application after a hearing if it is satisfied that the applicant is of good moral character and the applicant has given evidence that he will be able to operate the premise in compliance with all regulations and laws governing such premises, and the applicant is a resident of the state and his neighborhood consent petition is in due form, and the applicant's premise are not within 500 feet of an elementary school. The Board of Public Service has in its possession and therefore admitted into evidence the following documents. Item one, a certified copy of chapter 8.97 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis. Item two, the applicant's file with the Office of Secretary Board of Public Service, which includes but is not limited to, A, the above reference license application with a drawing of the proposed premise, and B, public notices that were published and posted for today's hearing. Item three, an occupancy permit from the zoning division issued for 6650 Gravoy Avenue to be occupied as a tattoo studio. Item four, a copy of the certificate of occupancy and zoning issued for 6650 Gravoy 
to be occupied as a tattoo studio. Item five, a letter from the director of health, Dr. Maddie Davis, saying that the community sanitation staff inspected the facility at 6650 Graboy Avenue, the city of St. Louis, and found no evidence of health code violations. Issuance of a license for a tattoo studio was recommended. Item six, a certificate of conditional use permit numbered as 130856 issued to DBA Black Letter Tattoo Company, Theo Dijana Groth, for the use of 6650 Gravoy Avenue as a tattoo studio, no piercings with conditions. And finally, item seven, letters and emails in support of the opening of a tattoo parlor at 6650 Gravoy Avenue from the Boulevard Heights Improvement Association and Alderman Bill Stevens. The Board of Public Service will swear in and hear from the applicants and those in support of the applicants proposed use. The board will then allow those in opposition, if any, of the tattoo parlor to address this board. After each side has had an opportunity to speak, the board will allow for rebuttal. At this time, the board would ask the applicant to please come forward and be sworn in, and the secretary will swear you in, Mr. Groff. Thank you. Ralph, if you can please raise your right hand. And do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay. And can you please state your name and the address of the proposed business? My name is David Groth. My address is 6650 Gravoy Avenue, 63116. Thank you. And I have a series of questions. If you would just follow through with me, I would appreciate it. Uh, first question, are you a resident of the state of Missouri? Yes, sir. Okay. The state of Missouri requires tattoo establishments. He issued a license from the director of the Division of Professional Registration of the state of Missouri for operation. Do you have a license for the proposed tattoo establishment issued by this director of Division of Professional Registration of the state of Missouri? Yes, sir. How many tattoo chairs are being applied for? Five. And are you aware that any increase in the number of chairs uh, must be applied for with this board? Yes, sir. And how many employees will you have at this establishment? Um, currently, just myself, up to five. Okay. Well, up and to four you, employees, so. Okay, and do all the tattoo artists have their Missouri State license? Yes. And will you be able to comply with all the provisions of chapter 8.97 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis uh, specifically, and I will read each one and then cue you for an answer. Do you understand that you as the operator of this tattoo parlor are at all times responsible for the orderly conduct of the establishment and the acts of any of your agents, servants, or employees in the operation of the same? Yes. Number two, do you understand that the tattoo establishment may only be open between 9 a.m. Um, and 9 a.m. and 1 a.m.? Yes. And what are your proposed hours of operation? 11 a.m. through 9 p.m. Okay. And do you understand that tattoo parlors shall be kept clean and well lighted so that the rear of the premise is plainly visible from the front of the premise? Yes. And will you be able to maintain this tattoo establishment in that manner? Yes. And finally, do you understand that no tattoo parlor shall allow or permit any loud noises, boisterous or disorderly conduct in or around the premise or on the grounds of such premise and the operator shall prevent loitering of persons on the premise or around the grounds of the tattoo parlor? Yes. And will you be able to comply with these regulations? Yes, sir. Okay. And so at this time, I will ask if members of this board have any uh, questions for our applicant today. Okay. Seeing no questions, Mr. Groth, is there anything else you would like to add before we move on? No, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. All right, at this point in time, if there's anyone in favor of the applicant, 
uh, in this proposed establishment that wish to testify, please come forward and be sworn in. And I don't see anyone on the list besides our applicant, but if there's someone out there I'm missing, please speak out now. Seeing no one in favor, if there's anyone in um, opposition to the application of the proposed establishment that wish to testify, please come forward and be sworn in at this time. Again, I see no one, so if there's someone in opposition I'm not seeing, please speak out at this time. Seeing none, I would ask that the record reflect that there was no one in support or opposition to this establishment. At this time, the matter concerning hearing number 8265 is now closed and submitted. The board will deliberate the matter following the remaining agenda items. I would ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Davis. Present. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Isom. Aye. Director Scoggin. Director Scobie, Director Williams. Aye. And President Bradley. Here we have a quorum. I will call the main order. For the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Contract and bonds for letting number 8744, reconstruction of runway 12R-30L from taxiway Romeo to taxiway Golf, project two at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, St. Louis, Missouri. Professional service agreement number 1259, South Broadway Multimodal Improvements, Dover to River, Casson, River Casino Boulevard. Federal project number CMAQ 9901669, St. Louis, Missouri, with Lock Miller Group, Inc. for the maximum agreement amount of $99,902.64. Revised and reformatted manual for project manual for procurement of construction projects administered by the BPS Department of the President. These include capital improvement, facility rep repairs, and maintenance projects that are developed by and or on behalf of the city agencies and departments such as airport, Department of Parks, Recreation, and Forestry, Department of Public Safety, Department of Public Utilities, and Department of Streets. From the Office of Special Events, request for the following to be approved subject to certain conditions. 15 special events to be declared as festival zones. St. Louis World Fair Heritage Festival and Games at Forest Park, Mooney Upper, Park, Upper Parking Lot on September 2nd through the 4th. Setup will be on September 1st at 6 a.m. Teardown will be September 5th at 5 p.m. Case of Black STL at South Lenore K. Sullivan Boulevard on September 9th to the 11th, 2022, from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day of the operation. Set up will be on September 9th at 6 a.m. and tear down will be on September 12th at 3 p.m. Track run 5K Northside Community Housing at Vandeventer Avenue between Washington Avenue and <coughs> Avenue on September 10th from 8 a.m. to noon. Set up will be at 6 a.m. and tear down will be at 5 p.m. South Grand Fall Festival at South Grand Boulevard between Arsenal Street and Humphrey Street. September 17th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Setup will be at 9 a.m. and Chairdown will be at 8 p.m. Nick's Pub Bag Tournament at Sulphur Avenue and Manchester Avenue on September 17th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Urban Eats Food Day at Virginia Avenue and Merrimack Street on September 17th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Setup will be at 7 a.m. Chairdown will be at 7 p.m. Mexican Inn Independence Day Bebo at Gregory Avenue between Taft Avenue and Gannett Street on September 18th from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Setup will be at 6 a.m. and teardown will be at 11 p.m. Biz 5K at Market Street between 20th Street and 18th Street on September 22nd from 4 p.m. to 10. Setup will be on September 20th, 2022 at 7 a.m. and teardown will be on September 23rd at 4 p.m. St. Louis Shakespeare Festival and Morgan Ford Road between Walsh Street and Gravoy Avenue on September 22nd through the 24th from 6.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Setup will be at 7 a.m. and turnout will be September 25th at 3 p.m. Hispanic Festival at Soulard Market Park and North Curve Lane only on Lafayette Avenue between 8th Street and 9th Street parking meters on September 23rd through the 25th. 
Sillard Oktoberfest at Sillard Market on September on October 7th from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. and on October 8th from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Setup will be October 4th at 9 a.m. and teardown will be October 11th at 5 p.m. St. Gabriel's Parish Picnic at the northeast corner of Francis Park on October 7th from 6 to 10 from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. and October 8th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Setup will be October 6th at 5 p.m. and teardown will be October 9th at 2 a.m. Fox Park Fall Festival at Victor Street and Ohio Avenue and California Avenue on October 8th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Setup will be on September on October 8th at 7 a.m. and teardown will be October 9th at 1 a.m. Halloween in Central West End at Euclid Avenue between North Maryland Avenue and South Maryland Avenue on October 29th from 10 a.m. to midnight. Setup will be October 29th at 6 a.m. and teardown will be October 30th at midnight. Winter Fest 5K at Kinnear Plaza on November 9th from 8 a.m. to 10. Setup will be at 6 a.m. and teardown will be at 11 p.m. Director of Parks, Recreation, and Forestry recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131120, request from Gateway Fireworks Display to provide fireworks display on September 14th at the foot of the Grand Basin in Forest Park for charitable events being held on behalf of St. Louis Symphony in conjunction with free concert in the park event. Application number 131121, request from JNM Displays to provide fireworks display on October 15th at Cricket Field at Forest Park for the Leukemia Lymphoma Light the Night Walk. Director of Public Safety and Public Utilities, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131124, request from Liberty Property Group LLC to subdivide one lot into two separate lots at 2034 Ann Avenue and City Block 1387. The property line will split the existing building to create two B simple townhomes. Application number 131125, Request from 117 West Stein's LLC to subdivide the plat at 117 West Stein Street in City Block 3083. 100 West Stein's was a plat that combined 117, 121, and 123 West Stein's. Application number 131126, request from Lafayette Schoolhouse to consolidate the vacant lot at 3141 Lafayette Avenue in City Block 2127 with the property directly next door on 3143 Lafayette Avenue. Application number 131127, request from Kevin and Juanita Lalvin to consolidate two parcels of ground located at 2224 to 2226 Jewel Street in City Block 1386. Director of Public Utilities recommendation that the board declares as an emergency action for the following. Parts and labor to repair a cracked and leaking fuel tank for construction equipment vehicle 480-415. This equipment is vital to ongoing operations and maintenance at the Chain of Rocks Water Treatment Plant. Directors of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131128, request from HEH Investments LLC to encroach into public right away with two stairways, three feet by six by six feet by 10, to be installed to each dwelling on an existing 15 foot wide sidewalk with tree, lawn, and garden at 1032 Geyer Avenue in City Block 0670. Joint recommendation that one application from Everspring be approved subject to certain conditions. App number CM2200013, 6300 Alabama Avenue. Joint recommendation that one application from Verizon Wireless be approved subject to certain conditions. App number CM2200022, South Boyle Avenue and Duncan Avenue. Joint recommendation that the following be canceled. Application number CM22-000021 from Verizon Wireless approved by the board on August 23rd. Approval number 303190 as this is a duplicate application. Director of Streets recommendation that the following be approved. Affidavit of KAK Samuel LLC petition number 6841 revised to vacate an irregular with L shaped alley in city block 1044 as bounded by Dr. Samuel T. Shepherd Drive, Leonard Avenue, Washington Boulevard, and Josephine Baker Boulevard in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Affidavit of St. Louis Symphony Orchestra, petition number 6908 to vacate a triangular shaped access portions of Del Mar beginning at Grand Avenue 
and extending eastwardly approximately 272.285, give or take, 0.615 feet to a point abutting city block 1062 in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. And there were no condition of use this week. Okay, thank you, Dre. We'll handle hearing number 8265, black letter tattoo, 6650 Gravoy Avenue. We have received all of the documentation from city departments, and that is in order. We received a support letter from Alderman Bill Stevens, as well as the Boulevard Heights Improvement Association. Uh, we also heard from our uh, applicant today, and he noted that he would be in compliance with all provisions of chapter 8.97 of the revised code of the city of St. Louis. And there was no one in support and there was no one in opposition. So with that, I'd like to open the floor up for any questions or discussions from any of our board members. Greg Hayes, I make a motion to approve the submittal. Second, Isom. Okay, we have a motion to second to uh, approve this applicant. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Arson. Aye. Director Scoggin. Aye. Director Williams. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. The hearing number 8265 is approved. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday. August 23rd, 2022. Are there any questions or comments on these meeting minutes as submitted? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Bethany Williams, motion to approve. Davis, second. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis? Aye. Director Hayes? Aye. Director Isom? Aye. Director Scoggin? Aye. Director Williams. And President Bradley. Aye. The meeting minutes are approved. Today's agenda. Are there any questions or comments on today's BPS meeting agenda? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Motion to approve, Davis. Second, Williams. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Ison. Aye. Director Scoggin. Aye. Director Williams. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any questions or comments from any of our board directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. So move, Greg Hayes. Second, Williams. Thank you. All in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a nice afternoon. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.